Hi all, so just a quick video on installing a new hard disk drive into a laptop or even desktop. So I recently bought a new laptop and it only had a 256 gig hard drive in it. So just bought this 512 gigabytes from Amazon for £30. So I'm going to install it now. So it's going in a Dell laptop, but it should be pretty much the same for any other laptop. So first things first, disconnect the battery. Then remove the single screw out of the, the solid state hard drive. And it should just simply wiggle out. Then get the new one, and again just slide it back in, just be careful. You don't be bending any pins. I've not done any pre-formatting or anything on this drive, I've just put it straight in from new. Then once in place, pop the screw back in. and the battery back connected. Then pop the back back on and all the screws back in. And then we can get to the software side. So on a Dell, hit press F2 to enter the BIOS settings. And then you want to do what I do on screen. So you want to ens enable the USB. Otherwise, when you try and boot from USB, it won't be recognized. Make sure you apply the settings before you exit. Now we need to create a Windows USB stick, so you can download this from Microsoft. Again, just follow what I'm doing on screen. You want to create an ISO image. So just click through until you get to the download. And then it'll probably take a few minutes to download, depending on your internet speed. So once downloaded, you'll want to use a program called Rufus, which will mount the ISO onto your USB stick. So again, just copy what I'm doing. You just need to find the ISO location. And then click on it. Click OK. And then it will install. This can take a while. It took around about 20 minutes for me.
Once completed, it should just go off. If you ex if you remove the USB and then connect it back up, then it will show up in the computer with all of its files. Now back to the new laptop. So turn on, press F12. Make sure the USB is connected before doing that. And then it should come with an option of how you want to boot. So obviously pick the USB. Then you should get a Windows logo and then you should be able to click through and start installing. It might take a while, but just leave it to install and it should install pretty easily. If you get the message saying your Windows, your laptop can't install Windows 11, um, follow my other video in the description to show you how to get around that. However, you do get the issue where it just reboots. So it tries to install and then it goes back to reinstalling over and over. You need to go back into your BIOS and then change this to legacy. And then you need to just double check on the booting options. And then similar to what I've done, click apply and then exit and then start again. And then you'll be able to go through and then install it fully without it rebooting after initial install. And then that's it, Windows 11 installed, nice and simple. If your PC has previously had Windows installed, then there won't be any issues with regards to licenses either. I've obviously installed Windows 11, but this also works for the other Windows, including Windows 10. Thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe.